Welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you are returning. I really appreciate it. Today I just wanted to sit down and have a nice little chat with you guys about my wishlist plants. Um, this is a list that is always changing. I'm always adding new things to it. Um, I just have it on my phone and anytime I see a new plant I really want, I write it down. <laughs> um, there aren't too many plants on this list. I do take some things away as um, I just kind of don't want it so bad anymore or I get it. Um, but yeah, so I am going to be looking down at my phone to reference this list. Um, before we get started, if you would give me a big ol' like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, I'm just going to scoot over so that I can insert photos of each plant that I'm talking about to my side. Okay, first plant on this list is a Monstera Peru. Um, I have wanted this plant for some time now, a good chunk of time. <laughs> Uh, I just like the texture of it. I really like vining or climbing plants, as you would know from my houseplant tour. If you haven't watched that yet, please go check it out. Um, but yeah, really nice, just kind of standard green color. The variegated version is beautiful though, but just a regular old green Monstera Peru I would be more than happy with. And next on my list is Scandapsis Trubii Moonlight. Um, I love my silvery plants. I love my bluish plants. And yeah, this plant just really does it for me. Um, I have seen um, a lot of people getting these lately because Home, Home Depot, Lowe's, and Walmart have started carrying them because Costa Farms has started um, growing them. So yeah, I'm just kind of like crossing my fingers to find one at a big box store so I don't have to um, pay as high of a price for them. Okay, next on my list is something that either everyone already has or it's on everybody's list as well and um, this would be a Monstera Thai Constellation or a uh, Monstera Albo. So the Thai Constellation I love specifically because the variegation is stable. Um, I just don't enjoy the pattern as much as an Albo. Um, the Monstera Albos are not stable so that means that they can revert at any time back to green they aren't getting enough light or if they just want to be finicky. Uh, I've seen a lot of people talking about how they're disappointed that theirs is reverting. So I would feel more comfortable with the Thai Constellation so that I can trust it won't revert. But um, Albo, I definitely can't help but drool over those photos I see of them. Next on my list is Scandapsis lucens or Anodendrum Athene. Athene? Not totally sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, these plants look really similar and I've seen people get them mixed up online. Honestly, I would probably get them mixed up as well. Um, but yeah, either of these, because they have very similar looks, they have that same bluish silver hue that I love. Um, and once again, it's a vining plant and I just love my vining plants. Um, so yeah, this one I have never seen in person. I rarely see it for sale on um, Facebook like plant swap groups or anything like that. So I'm just holding out for one of these. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll find one, um, but definitely really high up on my list. Hello, editing Ashlyn here. Um, I just wanted to add, I cannot find any real information on these plants. Um, they look totally identical. I wanted to show two images to like try and show a difference, but I cannot find any differences. Um, so yeah, if anyone knows anything, please let me know. I would be happy with either of them. They are equally beautiful to me because <laughs> I can't tell them apart. Um, but anyways, thought I would just include that. So let's continue. Um, next on my list is just a regular, regular variegated heartleaf philodendron. Um, I love my heartleaf philodendron. I have a few different types. The regular lemon lime, silver stripe, brazil. Um, yeah, I just enjoy the shape and growth pattern of those a lot and I just think the variegated um, one is really nice. It kind of reminds me of a marble queen pothos um, but with that like heart um, shape. <laughs> Next on my list is a philodendron soteri. Soteri? So... Soteri. Um, yeah, next on my list is philodendron soteri. Okay, next on my list is philodendron soteri, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. 
Um, same reason you're probably seeing the theme of like silver leaves. Um, but yeah, I have quite a few philodendron in my collection and I don't have any that are like big leafed philodendrons, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so this one just really takes the cake for me because I want some more like big leaf plants in my collection and two, it has the color that I love. Um, but yeah, I have seen those for sale, never in person, but on Facebook um, groups and stuff. Uh, kind of at a high price point right now. I'm hoping it'll become a little more common and the price will come down soon, but you never know. Next on my list is a Sissus Discolor. This one surprises me because I'm not a fan of purples and pinks and reds in my plants. I like my green and I like my silver and blue and that's it. Um, but this plant just has such a unique pattern to it and a texture it looks like it's kind of like ruffly um, in a way I just would love to find one of these um, it has like a kind of purple backs to it um, and a little bit of silver a little bit of green like it has a whole bunch going on and crazy plant guy has like some of the most beautiful this is discolor I've seen and he's the one that got me <laughs> really wanting them from watching his videos um, so yeah, fingers crossed. Next on my list, or the next two on my list, are both pipers. And I just wanted to say that I don't, I don't see people talking about pipers that much. Um, and I don't know why, because there's so many different types and they're really beautiful. I never see them in person. Um, but they seem to grow really fast and propagate well, so I don't know, maybe soon pipers will take over. <laughs> kind of like Hoyas did this past year. Um, so yeah, first Piper is Piper Sylvaticum. This one reminds me of a Monstera Siltipicana a bit with those lighter leaves and the um, deeper, darker vein color. Um, I just like the texture, kind of the illusion of texture even with this guy and um, would be very happy to see one in person one day. Next on my list is a Piper Parmatum. Parma 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 Next on my list is Piper Parmatum, um, and yeah, similar to the other Piper, kind of same um, leaf shape and growth pattern, but this one reminds me of a Peru in some ways because it has like really nice texture on it, and from some photos I've seen, it kind of looks like um, the leaves start out uh, much lighter, like a neon green kind of, and then fade to more of a deep dark green. Almost like a raven's easy, um, where the leaves, you know, start like neon and then they just, as they get older, turn deeper and darker. But I'm not sure that it gets as like black as a raven's easy. But either of those, if anyone wants to send me a cutting, <laughs> just let me know. Um, next on my list is the only Hoya on this list, um, Calistophila. The Hoya, <laughs> I can't pronounce anything, the Hoya. Callistophila, Callistophila. Um, yeah, I like this Hoya because of the leaf shape. I am kind of particular with the Hoyas I like, mainly pertaining to the leaf shape. I don't love super round uh, leaves like the Obovata. I, I mean, it's a beautiful plant. If you like it, you know, you do you. But I like how they're still long and almost like a pubicalyx leaf shape but it just has that nice deep vein color that kind of is like the wow factor <laughs> for me. Um, so yeah, I have seen these on eBay more than anything, surprisingly. Um, but you know, the bidding goes up to maybe $200, $150 and I'm not trying to spend that right now. I am a college student, <laughs> I am struggling. Next on my list is more of a category. Um, it's just a carnivorous plant. I don't have any carnivorous plants in my collection and I see pitcher plants all the time and I don't know why I've never grabbed one. I would love to just add some carnivorous plants to my collection because one, fungus gnats, two, they're just as beautiful as any other plant. Um, yeah. <laughs> Next on my list is a variegated burl marks. Uh, I think like we all love our variegated plants like you're lying if you say you don't I mean you might not be lying but I feel like most of us like our variegated plants 
and I just like the leaf shape of the burl marks in the first place. Uh, my boyfriend actually has one, so that's why I'm not searching for a regular burl marks. Um, but yeah, the variegated kind would just be so nice. And Cactus Club that I mentioned before in Charlotte had a couple of these and I didn't even try to get there in time. I knew they would be gone by the time I got there. Um, so yeah, maybe one day I'll find uh, a cutting of one or something. Next on my list is Anthurium Crystallinum. So yeah, I don't have any Anthuriums in my collection. Um, I would probably hold off on getting this one because I um, would like to have an indoor greenhouse for it so it can have high humidity. And also I've never had an Anthurium so I'm not totally sure about the care of it and all that stuff so I'd like to get some practice in before um, I get a plant like that. It has a really nice leaf shape, really beautiful veins. Um, almost like silvery, like not silvery color, but like silver and like glittery looking. Um, but yeah, uh, I always get plant envy when I see other people's um, collections with these in them. Next on my list is a Philodendron Gloriosum. Um, like I said earlier, I just don't have any like big leaf plants really. And this one just has like nice, almost pillowy looking leaves. But yeah, this is another one where I just get plant envy every time I see somebody's um, on their Instagram or on their YouTube. I just think they're beautiful, nice, big, and kind of dramatic looking. Um, okay, so last thing on the list, and I'm going to butcher this name, is Palexia olivaceae orchid. I don't know. Um, but I do follow a seller from Indonesia on Instagram and he had one of these, but he didn't know the name. And so I couldn't put it on my wish list until just the other day. I saw someone in the Facebook plant group I'm in um, selling one of these and I was like, that's the plant I've been looking for. And I finally got to figure out the name of it. Yeah, really dramatic looking plant. It has like dark leaves with like light silver kind of markings. Um, and I'll insert a photo obviously so because <laughs> I don't think I'm explaining these very well um, And then it also does bloom like a really beautiful bloom because it is an orchid But I pretty much buy all my plants for the foliage and not for the flowers I have had some of my plants bloom and it's like a nice little surprise, but like that's not why I love them um, But yeah, I just think it's like a really dramatic looking plant. So yep All right, that is the end of my wish list for now um, thank you so much if you made it to the end. I really appreciate it. And if you would like and subscribe before you go, I would really appreciate that as well. Um, let me know if you have any of the same wishlist plants that I do, or if you have like any top tier wishlist plants that you think I should add to my list as well, because I probably will. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and bye! <laughs>